Everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. A new article by the Daily Beast has come out and it details a little bit of how Jeffrey Epstein's arrest went down. Uh, literally the, the moments up to when they put him in cuffs. And what followed his arrest was really despicable. So I'm gonna go into that a little bit. But I also wanted to tell you there's a new book out about Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell called The Spider, Inside the Criminal Web of Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. And it's allegedly filled with details, not only about Epstein's crimes and some of his accomplices, but also things he told fellow prisoners prior to his death. So I grabbed a copy. I will let you know what I find, of course. I'll report on that. But first, the Daily Beast, as I mentioned, has reported that numerous wealthy people people they referred to as wealthy police foundation benefactors reached out to lobby on Epstein's behalf and tried to ease his suffering behind bars following his arrest. They spoke with former New York uh, Police Department Detective Chief Robert Boyce, and Boyce told the Daily Beast that these, as he referred to them, one percenters, contacted him with concern about their friend Epstein and they wanted to purchase items for him to make him more comfortable and it's so sickening you know so apparently Boyce has been kind of friendly with these people and he said you know they weren't calling to say hi how are you they were only concerned with Jeffrey Epstein's happiness and well-being in jail for trafficking children for decades apparently so Boyce said that by this time, he already had knowledge of the hundreds and hundreds of photos that they had collected from Epstein's property and various other things that they had seized. And so he knew how vile this man truly is. So he would warn them when they would call him, he would say, quote, just walk away. This is a bad guy. He is much worse than you can ever know don't walk, run. He did say that they would immediately thank him and hang up. <laughs> Once in prison though, and this is some of the reporting that's coming, I believe from that book that I mentioned, um, but once in prison, Epstein was bullied and apparently he was extorted by other inmates who sold him commissary items at you know, increased prices. Epstein, of course, would purchase the items and he did it to try to maintain his safety. He was trying to get in good with people. And Epstein also confided in an inmate, I believe he was one of his cellmates at one point in time. He specifically told this guy that he feared black inmates in particular. So the man's name is William Mercy and he told the Daily Beast that, quote, he mentioned he'd been bullied at school in Coney Island by black kids, not by Italians, not by the Irish, but by black kids. And he asked Mercy at one point, do you think I need a big black guy? Like essentially to protect him. He said it in, I believe it was a Yiddish term, but that was what he was referring to. So yeah, Epstein's got had, excuse me, a lot of issues apparently. As I said, I'll read that book. I just downloaded it on Kindle. I will let you know all the details. And thanks again for listening. As always, like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Thanks for listening to Plants and Politics. The only way we can take our country and power back is to spread the truth and build an army. So remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thanks again.